be so bad. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday today. Just got out of the gym, getting ready to head into work. It has been a fun and productive morning today. I've gotten some really good notes and emails uh, that are gonna ensure that I'm gonna have a good day, hopefully, fingers crossed. I definitely had a really good workout, trained some arms, and did a lot of cardio this morning. Ran a couple miles at really brisk pace. I think it's shaping up to be a good day. Also, walking into the gym this morning, I definitely got mistaken for an NFL football player. Person thought I was part of the Bears, so I'll, uh, I'll chalk that one up as a win. But right now, we're heading in. So I will check in with you guys when I get out of work, per usual. Don't worry, this is only gonna stay like this for a little while longer. See you in a minute. What's up, guys? I just got home. Allison's in the bedroom. How are you feeling? Allison came home sick from work today. The last couple days she's kind of been feeling under the weather, like nasal drainage and kind of cough and not really feeling good. So she came home and has kind of been resting. I feel bad. Anna, you wanna go? You wanna go bring mom tea? You wanna bring mom tea? I brought you tea. It's Zen tea, your favorite. Mm. I feel like I need cookies or something with it. Back in a minute, feel better. So Allison drinks her tea and gets all rested up. I wanna fill you in a little bit about what happened today. So I found out definitively that we have two trips coming up. One is gonna be next Monday and Tuesday down to Atlanta. I work on a piece of business that's serviced out of our Atlanta office. We're heading down there, guys. And then I found out that July 12th and 13th we are heading back to New York City. I know that I've shown you guys New York City on the vlog several times. I love that place. Gonna have some fun in New York and actually get some time to might actually go around the city. I don't get to travel too often for work. It's been kind of like a hiatus since whenever the last time I went. I'll put a link in the corner to the last time that I traveled for work in case you're wondering. But it's almost as cool as the time I went to New York, actually on my birthday, and got to meet Casey Neistat. If you haven't seen my video where I meet Casey Neistat, click the link in the corner. Unbelievable experience. I just committed like a mortal sin in vlogging that I have to tell you about. So I thought I was recording and I was like shooting all this stuff and it was cool. Nope, nope, didn't, didn't hit the record button, so. It's actually the first time that's happened in a long time. So what I was saying is that I'm gonna start making myself some dinner. I'm super hungry, was so pumped with the meal plan. Today was the first day of like the new week, so good. Can't, don't have any complaints about it. But I also need to get Allison some dinner since she hasn't been feeling very good. I'm sure she hasn't been eating. So I need to get her some food and I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Give me like two seconds. All right, so I ate my dinner. I got Allison noodles and company. Your noodles. Thank you. Here you go. Allison would probably eat anything if it was covered in mac and cheese. True. Right? Yep. All right guys, so now that we've eaten dinner, you just saw it's like kind of storming outside now. I actually, this whole past week in all of the free time that I've had, 
have actually been revisiting something that I had done a long time ago. And any aspiring YouTuber, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you check out the YouTube Creator Academy. So what YouTube has done has created a huge amount of information where current, aspiring, and veteran creators can go to learn all kinds of information. Everything from some tips and tricks to how to shoot your, your videos and like learn from some of the like best YouTubers out there and just filmmakers. And then also learning like more of the functional things about your channel, like how to utilize and take advantage of the analytics on your channel and things like that. It's kind of something that most people that just watch YouTube videos don't really think about, that there's actually a ton of science that goes into it. And it's all about how YouTubers can truly harness that and learn from the different things. And I wanted to take a little bit and kind of explain that. So one thing I think that every YouTuber has in common is that we all strive to provide each of you, our viewers, with the most engaging, best content for what you're looking for. And sometimes you don't know what you're looking for. And to be perfectly honest, sometimes we don't know who our audience is. I think that some really niche channels that you've probably seen on YouTube clearly have a target audience. And for me, using YouTube as a creative outlet and just kind of showcasing my life to not only allow me to be more creative, but then also have a documented journey for Allison and I to have forever is really, really awesome. So I strive to provide like lifestyle, like tips and tricks and just kind of, you know, couples content. And I'm not saying if you're here right now viewing this that that's what you fall into and you don't know that. We do some really cool stuff on this channel that has nothing to do with that. And that's what I think is brilliant, that I don't necessarily have a focus right now, which is kind of my strength, but to be honest, it's also my downfall. So my goal is to always provide you guys, like I said, quality content, and a big part of that is me having to know how to manage a lot of the things that YouTube can teach you in that Creators Academy. I will put a link in the description below if you're interested in the Creators Academy. All you have to do is have a Google profile and you can log into that, especially if you're a YouTuber. Highly, highly recommend it. You can learn so much information in there and it's all totally free. They have everything from videos, tutorials, to reading, to PDFs you can download to quizzes, all kinds of really good stuff. Go check it out and you might learn something. When it storms, we can normally find Anna in one of two places. Either in the kitchen, tucked way away, or in our closet, which actually lives off of our bathroom, way back in there, whenever it storms. And right now, it's storming pretty good outside. It's kind of funny, right? Like, it's like when children get scared, right? And they don't understand what the storm is, and so it's scary. It's with a lot of things that people don't understand, understand they're scared of, and can relate, but, ooh, big lightning. Besides the Creative Academy stuff, I've actually been spending some time with Allison since she hasn't been feeling good. Sometimes she just likes it, and I like it when I just kind of lay next to her in bed. I'll like work on stuff or whatever I need to do, but just I'm kind of next to her when she's not feeling so good. So right now, I'm gonna actually do some dishes from our cook yesterday. This is disgusting, and I was just like too tired to like deal with it, so I'm gonna deal with that really fast. Also, small, totally unrelated note, from our wedding, we had so much leftover like beer and wine and like all that stuff. So we have like, probably the other day you noticed I had some beer in the fridge and I don't really drink that much, especially now that I'm kind of on the meal plan. I'm not doing hardly any drinking at all, but we have like so much wine. Like this is all just red wine from what was left over from our wedding. And this is like three rows of five across. It's like huge. Not to mention the ones that like Allison already had, but we also had a ton of white wine too. And so I put a couple bottles here. I think I'm actually gonna bring a couple bottles for 
a few of the young women on my team, I mentioned something earlier today about how we have all this wine left over and if they wanted any and naturally they said yes. So I just went in and checked in on Allison and she just informed me that we're actually under a tornado watch here in Chicago, which is somewhat rare. I mean, like, it's not uncommon to have tornadoes in the Midwest, right? The funny thing is that we don't really commonly get tornadoes in the city because it's so close to the water. But, um, yeah, we don't get water spouts here in Chicago. Is it really a tornado watch? I just to maybe while I have tissue up my nose. Oh, that's so pretty. You had tissue up your nose. Is your nose that bad? Oh. It keeps going from stuffy to runny. Poor thing. Well, I'll leave you off the vlog just so. Hopefully you all can understand why Allison might not be super excited to be on camera right now. I'll tell you what, do me a favor and Cheer Allison up, help me cheer Allison up, give her some well wishes in the comment section below. I'm sure she'd love to read those tomorrow and maybe it'll make her feel better. Yep, yep, I would say that's, that's not so great of weather, so there's that. So I grew up in kind of like rural Michigan and the thing that like my knee-jerk reaction whenever like there's bad weather and give this video a thumbs up if you are also one of those people feel free to comment below as well but i always put the news on like i always used to turn the news on and be like you know what's the latest weather and things like that so for me to feel good about like really crazy storms is turn the news on and so i just got online and it said like damage reported like tornadoes in northern Illinois and I was like oh crap I definitely need to turn the news on and one of the disadvantages of living in a high-rise is like they control like what providers we can have and we have satellite and when I go to turn on my news this is what I get how am I supposed to feel good now that I can't watch the news. So I guess we're just gonna stick near the uh, good old uh, weather.com. And we live like in a high rise that has like, I don't know, like 35? There's like 35 floors in our building? Yeah. Something like that. And we're like halfway up, sort of, like a third of the way up. And so there's definitely like a tornado shelter area in our building. But like, for some reason that's extra scary, like being in a high rise during a tornado. Especially because we have like, floor to ceiling glass on a lot of our walls. It's kind of spooky. All right, so I just got dressed a little bit more. Not, not to worry any of you guys or worry Allison, but I got Allison up. We are getting the carrier for the cats out and we only have currently one carrier, which is not like the smartest idea in the world because if there was an emergency, but <laughs> there's, we have a carrier that we like, it's a bag that we like bring the cats to and they like it just fine, but I can't imagine they would like to both be in there. But I was just looking online and there was a tornado touchdown just outside the city in Chicago. So we're like paying attention to this pretty closely. Even though I just said earlier that like we don't often get tornadoes in the city, like it's a pretty crazy storm outside. And so the fact that they have like photos of a touchdown tornado, like I've been in tornadoes before and have been around them and like I don't screw around with that. So like we're just taking proper precautions to like get everything squared away. It's kind of, it's a little scary. All right, it's been like 20 more minutes since I checked in with you. There's now a second tornado in the area touchdown outside the city. I think it's gonna be okay. They haven't issued any warnings for Cook County, which is what Chicago's in yet. It's just the surrounding counties um, straight west of us. So obviously the lake is to the east and the tornadoes to the west. So they have issued tornado watches for us and thunderstorm warnings and flood warnings and all of that stuff like our street way down there is starting to flood right now. 
I don't know if you can make that out down there, but see the driving way on the left. So I had other things that I wanted to talk about on the vlog tonight, but I guess uh, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna kind of hang out and uh, we're gonna weather the storm. All right guys, small update. I've been streaming the news and the radar and yet another confirmed tornado to the west of us, but it looks like from the city it is more or less clearing, but what they were just talking about on the news is that the Copa America quarterfinals going on right now between, I think it's like Colombia and Chile or something like that, and there's 50,000 people in Soldier Field right now that are in the concourse and the stadium is flooding like crazy. They showed like unbelievable video. Yeah, just kind of following this, but uh, I've been talking about it so way too much, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it much more with you guys, but I'm probably going to let you guys go just because I'm gonna keep an eye on this. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with us. Even this is kind of like an unconventional vlog. I didn't have like a lot of stuff to talk about. I mean, I definitely originally had plans, but I just want to keep in touch with this. I'll check in with you guys in the morning on all of this, but thanks for sticking with us. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if I can actually do something like very, on a fairly serious note is um, there's, because it's like dark and it's very difficult for, um, you know, the, the spotters to see the tornadoes, the National Weather Service. So like, Please just keep like any of the families that are in these areas, like in your thoughts and prayers. Um, obviously by the time you guys will be seeing this, those storms will have passed. So um, if anyone is affected by this tornado, um, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers because obviously that's like a devastating loss to have, you know, any of that type of stuff happen to your family or your home. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could do that for me, for those families. I don't know anyone that's out in that area, but I'm sure they would appreciate it. So again, guys, thanks a lot, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.